Hello everyone, welcome to Morning Coffee Break. It's rainy out. Um, I was surprised to see some birds at the feeders this morning, some little bitty birds. They're black and white. They look like they're not much bigger than a hummingbird, but I haven't seen them in a long time. I'm not keeping much feed out there because it keeps getting wet and they're not really eating that much, so there's no use to keep that thing all the way full. But you can see, I'm out here a little bit earlier. I was hoping I would hear the train. It's overcast. My my garden will love the the rain though. I haven't had to water it in quite a while. These seems like these uh, winter vegetables don't take as much. There's a bird right there on the driveway. They don't take as much water or need as much water. Hi, Bodie. Go get you some seeds. It's not a bit scared of me. It's funny. <laughs> Must be little bugs on the driveway or something. It's pecking at. We go later on today to get a uh, Logan and an MRI done. He's got to drink this stuff starting at lunchtime. Ugh, I've had that stuff a bunch of times. I don't like it at all. That's contrast, I guess, is what it is. He's not happy about that. But you got to do what you got to do. This one's on his chest and stomach, though. They want to see, hey, there's a robin. I mean, a cardinal now. Wow. All these birds come from. I'm glad I cleaned that to where they could eat a little something before it gets wet. Good. Boy, they were all over in the summer. But yeah, this is on his chest and stuff to, in his stomach. I guess it's to see about the high heart rate, something about it. Let me see. I'm gonna put this towards up. Maybe there'll be some more birds. Go get some more coffee.
Well, everyone, let's go in for story time. All right. Time for a story time. I cut a piece off of my... I still hear the train out here. I cut a piece off of my picture yesterday, and I'm going to use it for a bookmark. I had to do that to make it fit the frame. All right. Tonight, I don't. we don't have anything really planned for dinner. We might get something out. I didn't set anything out or anything. We went over to Mom's and stuff. Had a great time over at Mom's. And uh, if you see this morning's devotions, pictures, picture, thumbnail, that's the decoration, some of the decorations at Mom's. And uh, I think, I, I don't know if I used one of them for this. I might. Uh... I don't have, I'm, I'm kind of running out of some stories. I got some odds and ends today, but I, I hadn't had much time to sit down and think that much about it. But when we first got married, Joy worked. You know, we, we had to, uh, as little as you made back then to make ends meet. And uh, she worked at a pizza place that's called Village Inn. And uh, I think it was just an independently owned, you know, uh, pizza place because there was just one here in town but uh yeah she she was a waitress there and uh they had good food and stuff but the thing i remember about it is when not all the time but every now and then when they would close you know they would lock up and everything start cleaning up we would have you know, i would be there to pick up joy so they would let me in you know until they were finished and uh we would have like dough fights with with dough, with the dough and it'd be plastered all over the place but then we had to clean it up so then it took longer to leave actually but i remember that that's that was funny and uh uh i remember when i'm when i met joy uh in high school and it was probably 1976 and uh the thing that stuck out i had seen her you know and i i had this other friend that was a girl and i'd been asking her to introduce us and i don't know she kept putting it off like you know for some reason but uh <clears throat> when i finally met her it was it was halloween and you know people were dressed up and stuff i don't know remember if i was dressed up as anything or not i don't really think so but uh, she was dressed up as Pocahontas, uh, Indian. I don't know if she was like a princess or what, but I, I don't know. That's what she was dressed up like, and I remember uh, meeting her, and just, uh, of course, instantly I fell in love. But uh, that was a little one. And then <clears throat> I mentioned that I was... Uh, really allergic to poison ivy and uh, let's see let me write one thing down for tomorrow before I forget it might help me with something this is Tuesday I uh on. Yeah, I'd mentioned that. Let me get a drink of my coffee. The poison ivy. We were up at Meemaw's, and uh, I didn't think much about it. I was just running around. I don't remember what I was doing in the field, but they had like a big old drum they were burning stuff in. And like I said, I didn't think anything about it. And as I went by, the uh, smoke hit me from this direction and uh, i remember like you know i don't think i was i don't think i breathed it in or anything the smoke but it hit me i probably held my breath when i started to first just barely smell it or whatever but uh i actually got poison ivy on this side up here everything that was exposed from that from burning it I never would have thought that, but I did. And, uh, 
Remember that. These are just bits and pieces. And then, you know, along the same lines of so this was, I was over at my father's sister in her husband's house. And uh, they went and picked strawberries all the time. Well, whenever they were in season or whatever. And uh, I remember they were big strawberries too. But, and of course they did all kinds of made jams and did all kinds of things with them. Well, I went to pick them and she told me, my aunt told me, she said, you need to wear two pairs of pants because of chiggers. And I said, no, what's, you know, whatever, you know, I, I didn't, you know, I didn't, I didn't wear two pairs of pants. And uh, when we got back, let's see, it was like the next morning I started noticing these bumps on me. And these are bugs. And they get under your skin, you know. And I just was eat up with them. I was eat up with them all over. All over. And uh, what, what they did back then was you could take uh, fingernail polish and put it on each one. And it would smother it like and kill it or uh or you could take and uh like a uh, matches regular matches in the book and pull them out and light them and then put it out and touch it to it and it would burn it that i didn't like but i actually had to do that with some and so I, she says, I was like, I told you you need to wear two pairs of pants. I I even think, though, if I'd have even wore two pairs of pants, that it would have, they would have still got me. And I, I, I'm just miserable. I mean, I think I, we were there for, I don't know how many days, but I know the whole time after that, I was just totally miserable because they itch like crazy. And it was, it was just a really kind of a horrible experience for my, for my age. I'm trying to think how old I was. I'm thinking it was maybe around 12 or something like that. I'm not for sure. But it was around there, 12, 13 or something. But uh, don't ever go pick them or anything like that without plenty of cover. I mean, I would I would have, if I'd known that that was going to happen, I would have wore gloves and everything and probably two pairs of socks, one over my pants, you know, tuck my pants in them and everything like that and may probably be all right then but i didn't do what that's the th when you don't listen to to people you know that's what happens so that's that and i think that's that's about it for story time and i got like i said i got tomorrow started something i don't know how long it'll be with this one uh, uh, I'll go write something else down on it. At least I, I got hurt in this one, but it was from like bugs and <laughs> poison ivy. So I don't think I have anything else for today. So I guess I'll go for now. Please press that like button, subscribe if you haven't already and hit that so let's get all my videos as soon as they come out thanks everybody i'll do something later we'll figure it out everybody god bless bye bye